One staff member from this Henley-on-Thames pub tested positive at the weekend, but as a consequence, five more at the Angel on the Bridge had to self-isolate, leaving the landlord with a problem. I had to make a decision uh, to close the upstairs and internal parts of the pub uh, and bring all the staff downstairs. How many bookings did you have to cancel? Uh, it was uh, 88 on Saturday and 99 on Sunday. Businesses up and down the country have struggled with healthy staff having to take time off. But today, the health secretary said that would largely end. From the 16th of August, when even more people will have the protection of both doses and when modelling suggests the risks from the virus will be even lower, anyone who's a close contact of a positive case will no longer have to self-isolate if they have been fully vaccinated. So, from the 16th of August, for the fully vaccinated, no self-isolation is needed if they've been in close contact with a positive case. A PCR test will be advised for those contacts, but will not be compulsory. Anyone under 18 will also not have to self-isolate. But for people whose immune systems are compromised, as Jane Leahy's is, this change, on top of those announced yesterday, is frightening. It's too much too soon for the general population. And for those of us that feel vulnerable, it's just going to push us back into our own homes. I feel for my children as well that have been locked away and have had to be more careful than a lot of their friends, that we're now facing a situation where everyone will be free except us. There are also scientists who think it is just too soon to release the fully vaccinated from the obligation to self-isolate. The Delta variant is perfectly able to infect some people that have even had both of their doses of vaccine. So. Whilst we have cases out of control, um, and until we achieve a level of vaccination that can afford a meaningful level of, of population immunity, I'm afraid it sounds like a very bad idea to me. Either way, it's another experiment in relaxing restrictions at a time when the virus is getting less dangerous, but more widespread. Carl Dinan, ITV News.